So as the Indiana Kids Count grantees, the Indiana Youth Institute, which is who we are, know that it can be overwhelming to access the technical assistance providers, um, but it can really make an impact on your organization. So we're going to show you a few places that we've used over time and in different ways. Um, for instance, as the Kids Count coordinator, I have used the Population Reference Bureau to double check on some state level data in our data book. And I've also used the Lear in terms of the data center and figuring out whether, you know, our school districts needed to be taken down or how to, to fix certain data um, that we needed their help with on the data center. We've also taken advantage of webinars available to our fundraising team through Idealware. I'm Brandi Cole. I'm the Fund Development Associate at Indiana Youth Institute. I learned about the webinar through an email from the Annie Casey Foundation um, to let us know that we had access to these webinars free of charge provided by Idealware. The webinar was focused on email fundraising and different resources, best practices that go along with doing your fundraising electronically. It was very helpful because it was, I believe it was a five-week series. Throughout the series, we worked on creating at least one document that we could use at the end of the session. So not only did we learn something, we were able to apply it in real time and come up with a usable document. I definitely would use it again. Uh, the session that I took was very helpful, and I think that the other sessions offered through IdealWell would also be very helpful. Additionally, um, we've used ma management level and organizational level help from Community Wealth Ventures, which Julie Whitman, our VP of Programs, has utilized. Oh, hi. I was just doing a notebook review. That's a tool that I learned from my CWV coach that I had through the KC Foundation. Um, saw a message come across KidsNet and offering coaching, uh, individual executive coaching through the assistance of Casey. I saw, went on the webinar and learned about it and it looked like a great opportunity, exactly what I needed. So um, I signed up and was selected and boy did I learn some things from my coach. Um, besides helping me review all the tasks I've written in my notebook to make sure that I am organizing and following through on the things I write down, um, she also helped us work on this wonderful organizational dashboard, something that our board requested so that uh, at least once per quarter, the board could see all of our outcomes together in one place in one quick snapshot. So another great tool I learned from my coach is um, organizing my priorities in this kind of quarter format uh, according to whether they're urgent, not urgent, important, or not important. And that helps me spend most of my time on the things that are important but not urgent and not get swallowed up by the tyranny of the urgent. Great visual tool I learned from my coach. And then the final thing that my coach has helped me with is organizing how I spend my time with my direct reports. I have nine of them and we meet monthly and I wanted just some guidance on how to make better use of those individual meetings. So she provided me with, um, with some tips and ideas and a form and I've now got them organized into a binder for each direct report which I think is helping me um, better stay on top of being prepared for those meetings and then following up afterwards. So all of this has really um, just helped me bring my leadership to, to a better level and has helped us as an organization overall with demonstrating our outcomes. So thank you CWV and thank you Annie and Casey. So as you can see, there's a variety of technical assistance available to you as a Kids Count um, grantee. Um, the best way to access it is to get onto KidsNet at kids-net.org. And that will lead you to the TA uh, handout, which will give you, you know, are they primarily data or are they policy? Are they communications? What can they help with? And then how to access them and how much you can use them. So that is the best way to do it. Or there's always Jan and Dennis um, out in Baltimore who are more than happy to help.